Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. The world's largest buyer of grains may be turning to a new source for supplies. The official state news agency for China is saying the country purchased its first cargo of corn from South Africa. Why should producers here care? Agnes Michelle Rook joins us with the answer. Clinton, this is an ongoing theme with China where they've made their strategic decision to try to source ag goods from just about every other country on the globe except for the United States. It's part of the ongoing trade tensions between the two countries, but it's not good news for U.S. ag exports. State-owned grain trader Kafko bought the 2.1 million bushel shipment of South African corn, which will be sold to domestic feed makers. Plus, between March 25th and April 14th, more than 4.3 million bushels of corn left South African ports destined for China. China and South Africa has been doing some major logistic projects together. So, you know, while we've been out not partnering with our allies on, on growth, uh, China has been sitting down at the table and putting together growth opportunities for a lot of different countries, and they're winning over their, their trust. Peterman says China has also made major investments in South American infrastructure. They struck more than 20 trade deals with Brazil and are currently buying their record soybean crop and for the first time ever their record corn crop. But it doesn't stop there. Aside from the mass increase in not just South American production, but their logistics in order to ship it out, is the relationship that they have with China and other allies that we used to have strong relationships with. And now our relationships with our own allies, uh, quite a few of them, as well as China, who we were a pretty big business partner with, have really deteriorated. And I don't think that's going to reverse for some time. Case in point is U.S. export sales of corn fell to their lowest weekly total on record last week as overseas buyers, including China, canceled purchases made earlier in the year. Total commitments are down 35 percent for corn exports versus last year. As we previously reported, USDA is forecasting Brazil will overtake the United States as the top global supplier of corn this year, something that Chinese corn purchasers have already made the switch to.